In this question, we're provided with an image that represents a structure. In this image, we've got these positively charged ions shown in blue, and then we've got small negatively charged electrons shown in green between them. So we can see we've got a kind of regular structure of these positively charged ions, and then the electrons are kind of randomly surrounding them in a kind of C. We'll also notice that we have some ions that are different colors. They're a lighter shade of blue and a darker shade of blue. So it looks like we have two different types of positively charged ion here. One other thing we can remember is that positive charged ions are usually metals and negatively charged ions are usually non-metals. So these positively charged ions are metal ions with the sea of electrons around them. So to describe our structure, we have positively charged ions in a sea of electrons. And we've decided those are metal ions. So what solid type is this structure? Well, it's a metallic solid. That's the name for a structure of this type. However, there are three types we could have. There's pure, that would be if all of the metal atoms are the same. There's an interstitial alloy. That would be where we have two different types of metal atoms, but the way they're arranged would be to have one of the types in the gaps. So an interstitial alloy would have some metal atoms kind of fitting in between the others in the grid. The third type of metallic solid is a substitutional alloy. That's where some of the uh, metal atoms in the grid are swapped out for a different type, but they remain in that kind of grid shape. So this image shown here is a substitutional alloy. We can see that our dark blue positively charged metal ions and our light blue, they're all in a grid together. They're all of similar sizes. So this is a metallic solid that's a substitutional alloy. The final question asks, how strong are the interparticle forces holding this structure together? Well, we have positively charged metal ions and we have negatively charged electrons. And since these are oppositely charged, these all have strong attraction towards each other and we have strong interparticle forces holding this structure together.